Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 3 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 9 is 27. To calculate, we have 3 groups, with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 2. 5 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is, 5 times 3 is 15. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 3. 4 times 4 equals what? So the answer is, 4 times 4 is 16. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 4. 9 times 9 equals what? So the answer is, 9 times 9 is 81. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 81 balls. Question 5. 7 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 6. 8 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 7. 5 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is, 5 times 4 is 20. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 8. 3 times 2 equals what? So,
So the answer is three times two is six. To calculate, we have three groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Six balls. Question nine. Seven times four equals what? So the answer is seven times four is 28. To calculate, we have seven groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 10. Four times nine equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 11. Six times two equals what? So, the answer is six times two is 12. To calculate, we have six groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 12. Five times six equals what? So the answer is five times six is 30. To calculate, we have five groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 13. 7 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 5 is 35. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 35 balls. Question 14. 2 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 2 times 5 is 10. To calculate, we have two groups with five balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 15. Five times seven equals what? So the answer is five times seven is 35. To calculate, we have five groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 35 balls. Question 16, 
Nine times five equals what? So, the answer is, nine times five is 45. To calculate, we have nine groups with five balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 17. Two times six equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 6 is 12. To calculate, we have two groups, with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 18. 6 times 7 equals what? So the answer is, 6 times 7 is 42. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 19. 4 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 6 is 24. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 20. 7 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 2 is 14. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 14 balls! How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.